All right, so we're back with the only game where you can walk into someone's house as a hobo and leave with their entire freaking coffee table. It's Hobo Tough Life. I'm not gonna lie, man. We are legit. We're eating carcinogen-filled hamburgers every day. It is freaking slick. We've got stacks of cash, which means that today I have a very specific thing that I want to get done. We have lived in hobo squalor for long enough. I want to uh, build up our hobo base to the point where everyone who lives a legitimate life is in awe and wonderment at the, the greatness that we live in. It would be pretty nice for people that, you know, pay taxes and own land to wish that they lived the hobo lifestyle. And I think that we have enough money and stuff in order to build up a pretty good hobo base. There's quite a few places to put your hobo base, but honestly, like, the main place is pretty good. Uh, it's close enough to everything, including, like, bathrooms and whatnot. What the hell is this? It looks like a case of boxed wine. Ugh. Boxed wine. Delicious. There's also a ton of these good friggin' places over here to find all kinds of loot and stuff like that. I think that a lot of the items that we could use to build up the base, we can just buy over in the mall. And like I said, we've got like 4,000 coins on us right now, so we should be able to buy a crap ton of stuff. In fact, I'm kind of surprised that there's not like a mugging aspect of this game yet, where some dude is shanking us in the kidneys for all of our money. I imagine like as you become a richer and richer hobo, the other less successful hobos begin to look at you askant, kind of wondering when you'll drop the ball and they can kick you in the nuts and take your stuff. I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of uh, honor in the hobo lifestyle, but I, I, mm, I don't know. I have to mention something real quick. It's not Irish, but who cares? Whiskey. All right, we're exhausted, but I've decided that tonight we're gonna sleep inside of the beginning of the hobo shelter. Now, if you remember, we've got like a couch and some stuff. I actually had a crash in the game and I lost one of my couches. And I think like one of my counters over here or something, which immediately made me sad, but I still got some of it back. So I'm all right. All right, minute and 20 of burning garbage. We'll go ahead and lay down over here and oh, mother of Jesus, you get a lot of rest fast. Holy God, I had no idea was so quick inside of the hobo shelter. We need to jack this place up. I want this to be like friggin' Trump Tower hobo shelter. What does this small mattress do? Like, is this something else that you can lay on or can I, you can put it on top of the table? Okay, I'd, sure. I'm gonna put this coffee table right next to my couch. This coffee table is where I keep all my boxed wine, see? Okay, so you can't actually sleep on the mattress, sadly. Okay, so we need a balls ton of nails rope and plank let's see if we can buy that at the mall although it's pretty late right now so i may have to pass the night stealing from people and calling them jackasses and stuff to keep my morale up yeah cop just walk on by i gotta steal something from this guy i can't really do it while you're looking at me oh, come on damn it apparently i can't do it when you're not looking at me either the power of the hobo compels me to steal your detox goo oh the cop was right there thank you jesus that i basically paid them all off now hello yoga pants lady you're one of my favorites, you know. Do you happen to have some extra change, maybe a bottle cap on you? I see you have a sandwich in your pocket. Don't mind if I reach it and grab it. Mother of Jesus, I'm seeing triple. I don't think I've ever had three blue jacket girls in one shot like this before. And they all don't want to talk to me. You're all a bunch of hoes. Antibiotics, huh? I'd rather just have the friggin' money. Ooh, ham sub or play guy. I think I'll take the sub. I'm not gonna lie, we've gotten really, really good at reaching into people's pockets and pulling their meat out. Oh my god, I just got 60 coins out of a friggin' change dispenser. It's like a new record. Hey, how's it going? Czechoslovakian uh, Republic uh, condom inspector here. Just checking on your condoms. Yeah, this condom looks like it's, uh, it's non-functional. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and take that with me. Hello there, my good bearded sir. Do you like functional condoms or non-functional condoms? Non-functional condoms. Fantastic. Pleasure doing business with you. Please don't name me in your uh, child support upcoming trials. Just breaking into people's houses, taking their duct tape, sniffing around as it often says. This is one of those trash cans that you have to bust your way into. This thing better have stacks of loot everywhere. Eh, returnable bottles, okay. Unfinished coke, sure, why not? Getting pretty freaking good at uh, busting into these locks over here. I just got a whole salami. Oh, that looks like an energy drink. Yeah, baby. Mmm, fresh herbs. You boys like sliced ham? 200 gram increments? I like sliced ham. What I like about this place 
is while you're blowing it up over here, uh, the freaking uh, pawn shop is right behind us. Hopefully he doesn't leave the pawn shop and end up slipping on my feces. That'd be kind of embarrassing, especially considering I'm trying to cultivate a pretty good relationship with this guy. All right. Give me a bunch of these. Give me a bunch of these. Oh, we can buy everything we need here. Oh, it's freaking glorious. Is this stuff unlimited? Like, if I buy a couple of these, can I sell a couple of these and make a ton of money? What about these fishing stools? How many of these are you allowed to buy? Tacky roof. Two by two. Looks pretty hot. Oh, this is it. When you gotta ask for the sausage or the ham, and then she hands you a freaking chocolate bar or something. Or just money. Okay, let's try and sell one of these. 100. We get 118 for it, so you get a little bit. Sold the other one too for 118. Sure. Another beautiful day in the hobo shanty. Except today, this place is getting expanded. I'm telling you, man, I want like a, a whole city in here. This way all the hobos can come by and feel depressed as they look at everything that we have going for us. They'll ask for our antidepressants and I'll backhand them across the face and say, suck it up and go steal your own. Okay. Let's see. I need a couple more tables because these over here... <laughs> They don't really- they don't really have a place to go right now. We may have to go into the nice part of town and start stealing a bunch of stuff. Actually, by God, I think that's what we're gonna go do. Finally, I can learn the perk drinker. <laughs> oh, oh, how I've wanted this for so long. Now we can drink so much more alcohol and it takes us longer to get drunk. All right, here's the plan. We're gonna burglarize the hell out of basically all these places and see if we can get, uh, you know, furniture. Hey! Got a pair of headphones. Not really Beats, they're more like, I don't know, Pete's. Pete's headphones. Hey, there we go. Creaky drawers, I'll freaking take it. I'm gonna hit every single house in here to get as much furniture as we possibly can. Yes. Creaky drawers number two. I don't, again, I don't know how, but we've got like two giant drawers inside of our pockets right now. I'm going through a lot of gum stealing all this stuff, man. Got a radio for the hobo shelter, hey, hey, hey. Well-preserved office table, sure. I've got an entire bedroom set on my body now. Yes. Tons of herbs. That is the most herb I have seen inside of a house since we started this playthrough. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. That, while it just happened right in front of a police officer that teleported inside of the house to take that burglary report, is gonna make us stacks of cash. I'm feeling really, really demoralized. I wanna die. Never mind. I feel fantastic now. Oh, madam. You're so radiant with your gigantic collagen-style lips. You know, it would take a lot of the uh, emphasis off those lips. It would be this glorious kind of fake ruby jewelry I have here. Yes. Fantastic. Also, give me your condom. Yes. Thank you. Give me that vacuum cleaner. Yes. Give me that vacuum cleaner. Give it to me. Yeah. Oh, it's broken. Level six, mother frickin' thief. What does it all mean? It means that our scumbaggery has reached new levels. Time to drop off all the furniture. Make the old hobo hut look good. What the hell? Cure? What'd this guy do? Just pray for my soul? Hey. You like lighters? Yes. Me too. You like headphones? Yes. Me too. You like condoms? Yes. Me too. How much more crap can I possibly sell this freaking guy? All right, Kabat. Don't fail me. Yes. Nice. I have sold... Yes. Many things, as you could tell, because I got six grand on me. I can feel my kidneys being eyed by every other hobo in a 10-mile radius. God damn it. I'll piss. Oh, yeah. Could put a sweet-ass radio right on top of my stand over. This radio is actually pretty friggin' big. Hold on. Just kind of got to glitch it on top of the freaking nightstand. Get on the damn nightstand! All right, you know what, radio? Screw you. You're going over here. There, perfect. That right over there. Uh, another one right next to it. You don't want them too equidistant because then it won't look like a hobo did this. All right, we need a bunch of walls to make this look more appropriate. You smell. Yeah, I got some deodorant for that. Actually, I have some soap. Perfect. Hey, I got a piece of jewelry for you. You can give it to your girlfriend. Just tell her you bought it from the hobo across the street from the gas station. Oh yeah, we break it in. What the hell? Garbage? It's a friggin' bicycle. Can I put that down over in my hobo land? Cause it looks legit. Wow. I can't even get caught by the police anymore. See, look, it's a policeman. He's annoyed. We let him know that we're a poor hobo and now he leaves us alone. 
so that we can drink our boxed wine in peace. Biker sunglasses. What the hell? While I'm in jail, thought I would take a moment to uh, check out a couple of my scratch off tickets. Hey, 150. Hey, 150 again. Damn. 30? What kind of luck is this? 10? Mm -hmm. Broke into the snack shop. Oh, come on. Screwed up and failed to steal a sandwich. Okay. Got the sandwich this time. Got the coffee too. Okay. I've got a ton of crap for the base. We're gonna stock this place up. I'm almost like out of space to hold stuff too. So I'm gonna have to like start eating all my sandwiches and drinking all of my alcohol because I'm running out of pockets and bags to put crap in. Speaking of crap. Okay. Got a whole bunch of walls over here. Why? I don't know. Like I said, I think it's just to get me the, uh, the oh, the next level of stuff. There we go. I want the start of an L-shaped hobo base. Why? I don't know. Plenty of fishing chairs surrounding the sad table. Oh, I can sleep on this mattress now. I don't exactly know how, but whatever. Oh, at this point, I can give myself a friggin' buff. Immunity, cure. Regeneration? Is that like a thing that you have forever, or how does that work? I think I'll just take cold resistance, because being cold blows. Yes. Sure. Oh my god, this is amazing. I can sleep right next to my fire, get rested ultra quick, burning garbage fills the air, smells so delicious, gets rid of my asthma, possibly helps me develop COPD, how do I know? Oh, you've received buff shelter. That must be the buff. Okay, cool. Yeah. There's the extra cold powers. All right, we friggin' did it. Our shanty town is starting to look legit. We've got radios and mattresses hanging out on tables. I don't know why anyone would sleep up here, but whatever. Couches and fishing chairs and everything. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Hobo Tough Life, where we finally are putting our cash to the test. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy and much love.